Thank you, Rabbi. I appreciate that introduction. Uh, I am Gary Margolis. I am a second generation and lifelong member of Har Hashem. And it is my honor to serve on your board of trustees. I've really missed speaking to you at Friday night services during the announcements. I am also the co-chair of the Legacy Committee. And tonight I'm sharing as my virtual background uh, a photograph, let me move aside, let me go this way. Uh, this is a photograph of the original building of our synagogue under construction in the summer of 1967, and my older brothers are standing there on the street on baseline. You could see that this was our sole building at the time. There was no social, uh, there was no office wing, no school wing, no shul on the west side, and our chimney hadn't even been bricked in yet. Yeah, there was a fireplace in the back of that building. Uh, you, could, you can see, of course, the flat irons were, were completed. Their construction is done. And our, and our neighbor, St. Andrew's Church, I'm kidding about the flat irons. But I love this picture because when it comes to legacy, our past is just as important as our present and our future. It's also fitting tonight that as we honor our, our legacy members that our Parsha is Teruma, which stands for donation, uh, as the Israelites were called upon for the sacred giving to benefit the construction of the Mishkan. Um, and I can't see the presentation. Are we sharing? Okay, so on the next slide, We've been uh, in a program, we've been in two multi-year programs over the last six years, a little more, administered by the Rose Foundation and more recently the Harold Grinspoon, Grinspoon Foundation, uh, in, in which we're, year, we're in year three of that. And uh, our committee, our legacy committee, has had dozens of conversations with members just like you, and they've taken training regarding fundraising in general and plan giving in particular. And these programs have guided and helped us and dozens of other Jewish organizations in our area to help build an infrastructure of plan giving. And our members have included Har Hashem in their estate planning in a variety of ways as partial and contingent beneficiaries. Uh, and it doesn't take a lot to help fund the growth of our endowment with the goal of benefiting the long-term financial health of our synagogue. There are many reasons that our members have chosen to leave a legacy to Har Hashem. And we can go ahead and go to the next slide. You can see that we have 66 members. A lot of them, uh, they've all been sent pins like this one that I'm wearing, and some of them have also delineated that they're in legacy on their Zoom names. But they've created a legacy to ensure that Har Hashem is maintained as a center of Jewish culture and community. And because they've created Jewish memories here and they want future generations to be able to have those things too. For example, in my case, I had my bar mitzvah at Har Hashem and my brothers before me. And in the synagogue behind me, our founders laid bricks in the, in the building with little notes in there, kind of like the Western Wall in Jerusalem to commemorate the synagogue as it was literally getting off the ground and becoming a real place in our community. Our legacy members include individuals, couples and couples who have made individual commitments and those that wish to remain anonymous. On this slide, we hear from one of our old friends, Herb, Herb Kavar, who was a founder, one of our 35 founders. Herb Kavar is also known for owning the sink and Tulagi, which were well-known hangouts on the hill in their 1970s heyday. And this quote is from an interview he did in 2012 for the Boulder Carnegie Library's Oral History Project. 
We've taken three minutes of that conversation where he speaks fondly of Har Hashem's origins and predicts its future legacy. And among those things, he says, I'm very pleased with Har Hashem and the presence it has had in our community. We saw some funds, we saw some fruits for our labor and our money. It's a building that just won't fly away. And I hope the Jewish community continues to grow and that somewhere, somehow people will remember those that came before them. And we shared the rest of that interview on all of our social media, YouTube and Facebook and LinkedIn. We have more testimonies like Herb's and others at our website uh, at harashem.org under the Support Us banner. And you could find more information about the Legacy Society also. We want to make sure that we thank and recognize our Harashem Legacy members tonight. We are grateful for their foresight to ensure that Jewish Tomorrow is here for generations to come at Har Hashem. I've said before, like our ancestors planted a tree for their children's future, so we sow the seeds for ours and our synagogue will live and breathe and grow. Thank you very much. That concludes my remarks and Shabbat Shalom.